Philip Schofield, Holly Willoughby's former co-host on This Morning, appeared to be passed over in a series of social media tweets on Tuesday. Following her participation on the IDV show, the 42-year-old broadcaster shared a grinning photo with her temporary co-host Dermot O'Leary on her Instagram stories. After admitting to unwise, but not criminal romance with a younger male colleague, Philip, 61, resigned from the channel and was fired by his agency YMU. Holly and Dermot grinned for the camera in the picture they shared from the This Morning set, and Holly tagged her friend with an orange heart emoji. She then said that she had been drinking wine made by TV chef James Martin in the backyard after Phil's own line was pulled from stores due to a controversy. Testing this out for our Rose demo tomorrow, Holly wrote, Just for the purpose of research, James Martin, thank you, it's delicious. Within hours of the business he partnered with being questioned about the situation, Schofield's self-named wine brand was taken off the market. When in Rome Wine stated that their relationship with the presenter had naturally come to an end. After the incident occurred, they continued to sell the wine through their website, and Schofield's wines didn't stop being sold until they started receiving media inquiries. We have worked with Philip Schofield on his collection of Italian art is in wines for three years and this cooperation has brought to a natural end, when in Rome Wine said in a statement to the media. There are no longer any intentions to fill orders for the Schofield range. The timing of the natural termination of the partnership has generated some discussion in the wine merchant market, a source told Mail and Line. It's unusual that it would have been on sale in recent weeks, and in fact right up until the day before the press inquiry, and now appears to have come to a logical end. They added, but given that the Schofield brand is now toxic, it was bound to happen sooner or later. It's cocked, to use an industry slang phrase. In 2020, when in Rome teamed up with the former This Morning host to introduce two new boxed wines, which were offered on their website as well as through the online retailers Waitrose and Amazon, Rob Mallon, chief executive and co-founder of When in Rome, gushed at the time, having someone like Philip on board to support the box wine category demonstrates the size of the opportunity we have in the market to educate consumers that there is another way to enjoy high-quality wine that doesn't have to be purchased in a bottle. The Prince's Trust, a charity founded by King Charles in 1976 to assist in the care of vulnerable persons under 30, also withdrew Philip as an ambassador since it was no longer appropriate to work together as a result of the incident. He was also pulled from other high-profile partnerships. The King's Charity, which counts Fern Cotton, Idris Elba, and Gareth Southgate among its celebrity partners, has likewise made moves to disassociate itself from Schofield. The Prince's Trust references on Schofield's own website have now been removed. Prior to this change, it stated, Outside of work, Philip is an ambassador for the charity The Prince's Trust, devoting time to further the work of supporting vulnerable young people in the UK. Due to a website error, the page that provides information about the presenter is now inaccessible. The Mirror said yesterday that there were still images of Schofield and Ms. Cotton giggling with the monarch at an earlier function. However, a representative for the Prince's Trust announced Friday night that Schofield will no longer be employed by the organization. They declared, we have agreed with him that it is no longer appropriate to work together in light of Philip's recent admissions.